Black Magic cinema cameras are very popular for their reasonable price range while being impressively powerful. One of the most feature-packed cinema cameras from the Black Magic is the 6K Pro which got in the market with a more improved sensor, recording features, buttons, ports, display, and dynamic range compared to its predecessor. In this video, we are going to discuss everything about the Blackmagic 6K Pro, including all the exciting filmmaking features to some of its downsides so that you can decide if the 6K Pro is worth it. So with that being said, let's get started. First, let's start with the core feature of this camera, it comes with a Super 35 image sensor. This camera also features dual native ISO which means you will get better ISO performance and lesser noise on higher ISO numbers. So if you are shooting in a low light situation, you can crank up the ISO and still get better looking video footage. On top of that, the 6K Pro features Canon EF mount allowing users to utilize the wide range of Canon EF and EF-S mount lenses. Now about the videos, the Blackmagic 6K Pro can shoot 6K 50 frames per second. Besides, Blackmagic offers you shooting in Blackmagic RAW and ProRes format. If you are shooting in Blackmagic RAW format, you will get a lot more options than the ProRes format. You can shoot 6K, 5.7K, 4K DCI, 3.7K anamorphic, and so on with the Blackmagic RAW format. But if you switch to ProRes, you will only get 4K DCI Ultra HD and HD. Now if you choose to shoot in 6K, obviously, it gives you larger size files, but it will also give you a lot of freedom in post-production. We will also see how the high resolution can come in handy to sort out some of the major disadvantages of this camera in the latter part of this video. And for now, we are going to talk about the color reproduction of this camera. The 6K Pro comes with Gen 5 color science which creates cinematic footage right out of the camera. Besides, it also can retain 13 stops of dynamic range along with internal 12-bit RAW and 10-bit ProRes shooting to make your videos more lively and colorful. There is 120fps slow motion in 2.8K 17x9 RAW or in HD ProRes scaled from 2.7K. The crop is 120fps in 3.388x which is a massive amount. It might work for you in shooting some sport or wildlife though as it gives your lenses an extended reach but at the expense of image quality. Apart from that, it also comes with dual mini XLR inputs that you can feed phantom power to if you are using a condenser microphone while shooting in your studio. Its 5-inch tilting HDR capacitive touchscreen LCD is also bright with 1500 nits so it is now easier to see what you are shooting in the daylight. One of the major upgrades that set the 6K Pro apart from its 4K and 6K predecessor is the movable screen. Though the screen doesn't open sideways, its up and down tilting is absolutely great for low angle and high angle shooting. And if you want to shoot in the old style, you can also attach a detachable electronic viewfinder to the camera which offers a 1280x960 resolution view. Speaking of sunlight, you might have noticed that shooting under sunlight sometimes makes the colors look pale. And to bring out the vivid colors under sunlight, we used an ND filter. The good news is, Blackmagic 6K Pro comes with a built-in IR ND filter from 2 to 6 stops which not only offers you rich colors in your videos but also helps reduce IR contamination. If you are thinking about what IR contamination is, it is the reddish tint on the footage when you use a heavy ND filter. An IR ND filter keeps the true color of your image without any color tint. The Blackmagic 6K Pro not only lets you shoot high-res videos but also comes with faster storage options, CFast 2.0 and SD UHS 2 card slots. As for the batteries, it houses an NPF570 L-series battery which gives you approximately an hour of shooting life. 
but you can get the battery grip that holds a pair of additional batteries. So with the battery grip, you can shoot almost for 3 hours with this camera. Another great thing about the battery grip is, you can pull the grip off the camera while recording and without the need for turning the camera off, charge the battery pair and reattach the grip and the camera will automatically detect the batteries. Another striking point of the 6K Pro camera is the inclusion of an accurate time code generator. It lets you sync multiple cameras to big events and concerts where multiple cameras are used to get the whole picture of the event. Then save valuable time by using Resolve to automatically sync your multi-camera shots in post. One of the major disappointments of this camera is the lack of continuous autofocus. However, if you are happy with manual focus, there is a focus peaking option in the camera. Another downside of this camera is the lack of in-body stabilization and thus handheld shooting can produce jittering videos. Additionally, the battery grip increases the height of the camera and when you mount the camera on a tripod while the battery grip is on, it still remains unstable. Now as we have said earlier that some of its disadvantages can be solved by the 6K resolution, stabilization is one of them. You can digitally stabilize your footage in post-production. Another problem with this camera is the rolling shutter effect which takes 19.7 milliseconds in 6K. But if you compare it to the Sony A7S III which has a larger sensor then the Pocket 6K Pro takes only 9 milliseconds for readout. All the downsides are justified when you look at the price point of this camera. With a $2500 price tag, you literally won't find anything better than this camera. So that was all about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Undoubtedly, it is one of the best value for money cinema cameras for beginners who are really interested in indie filmmaking. So what are your thoughts about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro? Let us know in the comment section.